The Alps, glistening in the sunshine, do not contain all of the natural beauty. Not only on a snow-covered glacier, a fragile edge or a ledge can a daring man show his courage, his agility. The world above ground gets a worthy competitor in the beauty pageant in its dark sister, the underground. Whoever did, walking through her catacombs, glimpsed the wonderful shapes, the work of millennia, they must have felt the attraction of the dark spaces wherein the glow of light conjures wonderful, unimagined images. The harsh light awakens life within the dozing shapes. The colorful coat of Sinter wraps its wrinkles glisteningly over the rocks, the ground sparkling as if covered by thousands of jewels. What opposites there are within these dark chambers, from the barely audible sound of falling water drops that ceaselessly build cave formations within this silent world, to the thundering roar of water caves where crashing flows of water shake the ground. Not without difficulty are we advancing toward the entrance of the cave, and terrified by the distant roaring of the underground waterfall, we admit to ourselves that exploring the caves in Škocian is a respectable undertaking. Boats, double troughs that look like a couple of planks nailed together, don't really evoke trust. Sitting in the boat that is rocked from side to side by the waves created by the waterfall, 
gazing into the water flowing by with untamed power into the dark abyss, staying in a good mood all the while, even if the boat was swept into a whirlpool. These were the events that had to be normal to a cave explorer. Mr. Josef Marinic, the highly distinguished member of the Cave Association, set out on a ride under the village of Škocian to Mala Dolina. He was on an exploration journey in this cave when his boat leaned over too far after pushing off, caught a big splash from the waterfall, then his vessel smashed and he was thrown into the water. It was a miracle that he escaped certain death, saving himself on a tiny rock ledge. From 7 o'clock in the evening until next morning he spent 12 anxious long hours staring death in the face, cast out, until his friend came to his rescue with the help of some brave local farmers who faced all the dangers. Rain makes the waters rise. Down in the narrows it boils and swirls. The eye is enchanted by the magnificent attraction of the foaming mass of water trapped within the narrow sink. With thundering speed the water rushes by, wetting us with its spray and shaking the hill toward the great waterfall. A careless man might quickly be surprised and unless he escapes it, he might spend long hours or even days until the level starts to fall. To keep their children out of danger and entering the caves, Parents told their children that whenever there is steam coming out of the caves, Anchka is cooking broad beans. And who might this Anchka be? An old, messy, fat, dirty and evil crone, wearing a large ruffled skirt that is always looking for children she could take into the caves with her. Children then have to bring her wood for the cooking fire. But this is not the worst of it. Once a child comes to Anchka, she will never again let them go home keeping them with her forever. Children were scared of being taken by Anchka, never to return home, which is why they kept away from the cave. At least, most of them did.
Nie wiem. Dobrze, gram OK. Nie wiem, jeszcze nie wiem. Gram OK. A gram OK? Ja mam gram OK. Ja mam gram OK. 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 Gram OK.
Many were drawn by the initial charm, accompanied us part of the way, then stayed back along this dark, dangerous path toward Hades, and let us go toward this enigmatic and unknown world. Here stand the same men as years ago, men who stayed true to their goal and word, despite the hardships and obstacles. During the descent, the visitor of Skotsian gets a hint of the cave's sheer drops, a hint that will reappear many times within the main cave, blinded by sunlight, which illuminates the rock in the outside world. The eye is directed toward the interior, where the sight slowly gets lost in the deep darkness. Blurry, wet walls of the pillars supporting the dome are unusually reflected in the dark waters which gather here, seemingly peaceful, to renew the wild flow into the depths of Karst. <laughs> Whoever stands here for the first time will most probably gaze into the wild narrows with fearful admiration. The wonderful morning, the cloudless sky, no hint of a storm on the horizon, almost made it hard to say goodbye to this day. The blue color of the sky is disappearing more and more as we descend deeper into the abyss fully lost as we enter the hall of the cave. Ah, dirge l'interno! Ale, pridi, pridi! Dobro je! Ajde, hreva, naprej, pridi! Tima, te more biti kašna riba spodi, a? Uuu, ma bova, čirja, če je uljuvova! No one should be afraid to admit that upon the first visit, the dark beauty of the cave evokes fear. Everything works in concert to evoke moderate horror, the relentless swishing and thundering of the invisible waterfall that excites down to the marrow. The blurry images of the crude rocky columns upon which the whole dome rests are like phantoms in the weak lamplight. Oblasser's viewpoint is one of the most unusual wonders of our caves. Many visitors describe it as the most beautiful sight. Perhaps the feeling of unease upon seeing such a natural phenomenon is the decisive factor in their verdict, the dash of wilderness, of horrifying beauty, which is more or less what distinguishes all of the Scotian caves, is what left a mark even on this phenomenon. <laughs> Nowadays it is child's play to get over the waterfalls. Yet the danger still lurks on every corner, the fact that technology allows us easier crossing should not be taken lightly. Any mistake can still be fatal today.
Wesley, Wesley, Wesley. Ja, nemoj spodio, nemoj spodio. Wesley, Wesley, aj, aj, aj. Amidst the great preparations for the crossing of the drop of the sixth waterfall, rain occurred on the 6th of March 1851 and swelled the Rika River. Everything, three boats, planks and machinery was washed away by the swollen river and Schmidl's research was suddenly over for a full 33 years. Mining expert Hanke, fearless, full of ceaseless strength, the first to advance, the last to return, was the person at the head who led us toward the common successes. Iron bolts that should serve for attaching the boat are being fixed into the rocks. One of the bolts has a rope ladder hanging from it, and Hanke climbs down to explore the depth. It is with unease that we watch him disappear into the dark narrows, from which a constant drizzle is coming. Swishing and swirling comes from down below. It seems as if the river is doubling the force with which it is throwing the waves into the strait to protect the unspoiled place from the arrogant intruders. Together with my comrades, I am once again descending into the depths of the dark crevice. These are unforgettable moments when the orders to advance come. Any thought of the obvious danger disappears. As we move on, we are more and more enveloped by the darkness. Torches are lit, their red glow magnifying the magical responses. Deeper into the hill our look penetrates through the gloom. Thousands of stalactites decorate the ceiling in the darkness. We are seized by the fever of exploration. Rarely does a cave give such a magnificent impression as this darkly somber space. Mortal danger is our constant companion while exploring. It is always on our tail and darkens our path with its dark image. Behind our backs is the monstrous danger of a flash flood that could be our peril. But coming to our aid are the invisible companions that protect us, raise a shield in our defense and have always safely kept us away from danger. These companions are our confidence, caution and firm conviction that we are ready, one for all and all for one, to save the one who is in danger or trouble. The locals were skilled in cutting and digging, Sometimes they made paths only to allow the gentlemen from Trieste to be able to climb into new caves, measure and name the tunnels. While digging, 
they discovered stalactite caverns and named them after prominent members of the mountaineering club, even those who never dug clay nor carved the steps. The distant murmur of the waterfalls starts striking our ear. Our attention is constantly directed at the stone floor to avoid taking a wrong step. In the gloom, only glimpses of the immense dome walls are visible, far surpassing the largest hall with their openness. The eye is open to a plethora of light phenomena. It seems that the floor trembles beneath our feet. Upon entering and seeing these demonic images, Wong gets a premonition of hardships and dangers that await the daring intruders. Treacherous doom preys a hundredfold upon the explorer who pushes onwards across the slick, wet, center surface, crossing the crevices or riding a fragile boat into the unknown depths. One careless step and the thundering water will surely kidnap them into Hades. In 1899, Anton Tomasz Hanke, a respectable karst explorer of Czech origin, organizes the preparations for the exploration of Kachna Yama. Gregor Zibarna, an enthusiast caver, Slovenian patriot and an eccentric from Divača, beat him to it with the help of locals and descended into Kachna Yama using a winch. While descending, the unwinding rope started to spin. At the end of his strength and dizzy, he reaches the bottom and beats Hanke. Zibarna, nicknamed Tentava, is described by Sigmund Freud as the biggest rascal in Divacha, full of humor, reliable yet intoxicated by drink, and a neurotic whose caving exploits represent to him the erotic equivalent. Anke sullenly reaches the bottom of one of the deepest caves in the world at the time, the 214-meter-deep abyss of Kachnayama that still evokes fearful respect. Exploration of Kachnayama is still ongoing. More than 16 kilometers of tunnels are already known, and cavers every year enrich these with new findings. Even the passage from the last known sump of the Rika River in Skotsian Caves to its reappearance in Kachnayama has not been crossed by the cave divers yet. No, tole je prvo sifonsko jezero, pot se pa tukaj nadaljuje rov, dolh in to je drugo sifonsko jezero, ker bomo zdaj nadaljevali. U, šibaj, Miško, šibaj, gremo, akcija! The secret of the underworld is still waiting for this great discovery. The dark depths haven't changed. Only the technology and the equipment are different.
the unknown underworld between Divacha and Skotsian remain a challenge for the future. How few of the visitors who have crossed here understood that the advance was enabled by many anxious hours of serious work, that those who created it were often glued to the smooth, wet rock, and that often only an outcrop or a crack in the sintry crust provide a handhold and shelter them from falling into the depth filled with the roaring of the river. Hands tire most easily when climbing these iron rungs. The beauty of the wonderful stalactites in this cave was dressed in a sinister black coat. Bats hung from the ceiling in colonies and stirred our imagination. How do these creatures manage to fly and not get lost within the impenetrable darkness?
The circle of life of this bat ends with voracious grasshoppers. Kaj misliš, kaj moj? Lahko ga zvlekli, da ne znam. Du večja, ha bo spestila, smo bliži prečiršnje v jami ti. The spirit of exploration lives on in the locals and despite Anchka, new generations of inquisitive explorers, cavers, are born. The locals still stubbornly defy fear, guess about the connections, dig and explore in the bosom of Karst and continue the age-old story of people trapped between the underworld and the sky. In drugi dan si tako utrujen, da ne uspeš narediti na čtlenak med te. Ma nisem vsak dan, enkrat na tjeden gremo, no. Ja. Dobro, ma lekite čakam, res na večeri. Ja, ven, dej, ali. Naj sitna naša, spirti, veš. Ej, ima štadga, vse smo vsi bili, dej. Kaj je tudi kurla? Bo treba pohrtati, ma ja je že kurla, dej. In spet je šel v jamo. Stalno hodi v jamo, ben ti še. Jama na prvem mestu, a? Tle se lomim na kmetetra, puhat, prač, tema džvali, vse, gneva, drva štemat in ostalo v jamu, v jamu, v jamu. To pa da vprši cel nazaj. Do tej skrbe, ne? Kaj če da prej obori na večeri in pa ga ne še dve, tre, štiri, pet tor van zlokne in dol neki ne lovi in nač telefon.
When bad weather comes, fog starts to rise from the Scotian Capes. This fog tells the locals that it will rain for a few more days and that sunshine is nowhere near. And even nowadays, when they see the fog coming out of the cave, people will say, oh, Anchka is cooking today. After a strenuous exploration and 16 expeditions in seven years, Hanke researched most of the Kachna and Skotsian caves. Despite extreme efforts from the locals, the caves don't get close enough to Trieste, where they were looking for a new water supply. In many places, they couldn't find any continuation of the caves and tunnels. They also checked every possibility in the chimneys. In the end, they had to give up. Anke creates maps of Skotsian Caves and Kachna Cave and presents them to the members from the Mediterranean section of the German-Austrian Mountaineering Association in Trieste. Finally, along with colleagues Marinic and Miller and some locals, on the 5th of September 1890, he reaches the last hall of the Scotian Caves. <coughs> Due to exhausting exploration and its consequences that had dire effects on his health, Hanke died in Trieste at the end of 1891. He is buried in Skotsian Cemetery above Skotsian Caves, as his family and friends wanted. Barely anyone else ever visited it, only a handful knew it and worshipped its special dark beauty and sought out this cold place. Mysteriously getting lost in the darkness are rows upon rows of the thousands of stalactites coming down from the ceiling. Nature created every possible image in the most fantastic of forms here. Whenever harsh light appears in the background, it seems as if we are looking into the fiery mouth of a beast, full of teeth. 
Far above us arches the ceiling of the magnificent hall, whose walls are decorated with cave formations. Franz Kraus, od 1984-ga do 1987-ga. S putikom ste vandrali. Aha, putik, vidim, vidim. Evo, dedimo resni kamer. Ovdje je lijepo pot za turiste. Ma, pridi po te, ako ima lijepo lice. Uuu, ta, ta je, te pravi. Čaha bom odnesel još je teha, bo vzidel. Vredi, pa vredi ta? Vredi, vredi, no, dej. Uuu, zdaj pa no bojo več hodili po blati. Once, when our torches and mining lamps will be extinguished for the last time, we shall be rewarded by the knowledge that our work served a serious purpose and that we had done a favor to science that no money can repay. Na, od vi marendo. E, mozi, bo ki dobro haleti. A, ma mora bet. Zdaj mi še malo sjera. A, vzami kruh. Bog žegni. Ali v Volva Zorjevi steni. Ej, ma ko bo spet doma, ko bo tvoja zvedla, ki lezeš? Boš ti pori? A, ma mora sem nek zadosti. Če me boš ti varval, te zaupam. Zdaj se bom pa še jaz podpisal. Ever new pioneers followed their role models in exploring the all too little known underworld of Škocijan caves and Kačna cave at Divača. During the more recent times, cavers from Logatec, Koper, Sežana and members of caving association Gregor Živrna Divača, as well as Czech cavers, have all been very successful. This continues the exploration of the connection in this vast subterranean system that was first explored 120 years ago by Anton Hanke and brave locals. Hard work was needed to get this far. If a daring risk forms the attraction in an undertaking, then the exploration of the Rika River caves in Škocijan has plenty of it. No other cave has such an abundance of attractive, vast, wild scenery, and no other possesses such a variety of dangers for the explorer. Despite the numerous attempts of the cave divers, a lot of effort will be needed to connect both caves. Even today, the exploration advances step by step. The danger of rising water is still looming. High waterfalls, slippery walls are still a challenge to the modern equipment, and our numbers are still small. work of explorers is to the cavers, Škocijan Caves Park, and all the people who love karst and amazing heritage, worthy of admiration and respect. The glory of Škocijan Caves was carried out into the world with relentless work, centuries of self-restraint and gazing danger in the eye. This is where karst science and the words related to karst phenomena were born. This is where the exploration of the underground is still going on. The joy of discovering remains the only payment of these brave men.
Kaj ste videli, ribco? Ja, ja, je bila. <laughs> the memory of brave, daring men shall live on in Skotsian, where caves and halls praise the names of distinguished explorers and the work of locals. Twelve kilometers of paths in the caves, sumps explored, and new parts of the caves. This is a heritage that did not occur on its own, but as a result of many sacrifices. This is one of the reasons why Skotsian caves are today a part of UNESCO's list of natural and cultural heritage.